Sleeping bag? Check. Marshmallows? Check. Spooky tales? We got you covered. Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest campfire stories. That means we're looking at the scariest stories to tell around a campfire. However, to be clear, we will not be telling the whole story, but we'll be giving a quick recap and then kind of telling you why it's so effective. All right, let's get scared. Number 10, The Hairy Toe. I got gotcha. her. I will not abide another toe. The hairy toe is also known as the big toe in some circles, but the gist is all the same. Someone goes out into the woods to find something for dinner, only to come across a toe sticking out of the ground. So they decide to take the toe home and cook it for some reason, as you would. However, this greatly upsets the owner of the severed toe, and they come calling in the night. It's not much for adults, but it makes for a scary and quickly told story for children. It's also great for camping, as it preys on our fear of unknown dangers lurking and hunting in the dark. Number nine, the spider bite. Oh, honey, you need to do something about that. The spider bite began as an urban legend before growing in popularity and renown after being adapted for scary stories to tell in the dark. It starts with a young girl being bitten by a spider while vacationing in an exotic setting. In other versions, the spider simply bites the girl in her sleep, often in her mouth. Either way, the bite quickly goes from a simple spider bite to massive growth before a colony of baby spiders erupts from the burst boil. This story is effective for both children and adults, as a lot of us have inherent fears of insects and spiders, let alone spiders living inside of our cheek. This is another great story for camping, seeing as how spiders are so prevalent in the wilderness. Number eight, the keyhole. The keyhole lacks a camping connection, seeing as how it takes place inside a hotel, but meh, still scary nonetheless. Would you excuse me for a moment, sir? Sure. It concerns a man checking into a hotel and being told by the receptionist that his floor contains a locked and numberless door. He is also told to avoid the room and to not look in under any circumstances. However, his curiosity eventually gets the better of him, and he's met with a particularly spooky sight. This is a great little story, not just because it contains a lesson about harmful curiosity and disobeying orders, but also because it contains a fantastic twist ending that is sure to leave kids gasping. Number seven, Killer in the Back Seat. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the Gogos to give you an emergency news bulletin. This is an all time classic campfire story. There are numerous variations, but the general outline is as follows. A woman is driving down a dark and lonely road when she's approached by a violent driver. This driver honks, flashes his high beams, and in some versions, rams into her car. She finally learns that the driver was trying to tell her that someone was hiding in her back seat. This story has it all. Fear of being alone and defenseless, a fear of dangerous drivers, a fear of being spied on or watched, and of course, a huge twist ending that puts a new spin on the events of the story. Tell this to someone and they will be checking their back seats for weeks. Ah! Number six, The Rustling Corn. This story is actually a short poem that seems to have originated on Reddit. The poem can be found in the subreddit Short Scary Stories and was posted by user melodic underscore 692. The poem is told in the second person, placing the reader directly in the story. You begin the poem by taking a shady shortcut through a dense cornfield only to quickly grow concerned that something or someone is watching you. It's a wonderful and wickedly concise poem that succinctly burrows into your primal fears of being watched and hunted. It doesn't matter what's in the cornfield. The only thing that does matter is that it's watching you and that it wants you. Number five, The Smiling Man. Creepy pastas are an excellent way to introduce new campfire stories to a new generation. And when it comes to creepypastas, they don't get much better than The Smiling Man. It concerns an insomniac protagonist who goes for long walks at night. One night, they come across a tall and lanky man who slowly dances towards them with wide eyes and an abnormally large smile. What follows are some harrowing moments when the storyteller is stalked and hounded by The Smiling Man. Like many of these stories, this one preys on our fear of being alone, of being stalked, and most of all, of being watched by something utterly inhuman and insane. 
you'll never want to go for a night walk again. Number four, the hook. No, he wasn't decapitated. He was gutted with a hook. The Hook is another all-time classic campfire story. It's remained popular since the 1950s when it began to circulate around the United States in various lovers' lanes. The story concerns a young couple getting steamy in a car and hearing an emergency news bulletin about a loose serial killer with a metal hook. At the end of the story, this couple finds a hook either on the door handle or embedded in the roof, signifying that they'd been stalked and nearly killed by the murderer. The story may have lost some of its momentum over time thanks to its legacy, endless retellings and adaptations, and the prevalence of the slasher genre. That said, it remains a classic and still has the power to scare. <laughs> Number 3. The Green Ribbon The Green Ribbon became widely known after being published in Alvin Schwartz's In a Dark Dark Room and other scary stories. However, its roots go back centuries. And an old version can be found in Washington Irving's collection Tales of a Traveler from 1824. The story sees a young man falling in love with a young woman. Everything seems ordinary, aside from the fact that the woman is always wearing a large ribbon around her neck. At some point in the future, the man finally takes the ribbon off his lover's neck and her head falls off. It's a horrifying story with a terribly dark and demented ending. So it's perfect for kids. Number 2. The Licked Hand this story also goes by the names The Doggy Lick or Humans Can Lick Too. It tells of a young girl left home alone for the first time. Well, we immediately know the perfect demo for this story. She then hears a radio broadcast proclaiming that a serial killer is on the loose. What follows is a genuinely terrifying story about unknown sounds in the night, mutilated dogs, and people hiding under your bed. This story really gets at the freaky crux of living alone. Unidentified sounds in your house, dangerous intruders, and perhaps worst of all, the possibility of someone else being inside the house without your knowledge. Sleep tight, everyone. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Vanishing Hitchhiker Hitchhiker? Should we pick him up? Oh yeah, man. Pick him up, he'll asphyxiate out there. What does he look like? This is arguably the all-time greatest urban legend as it's been endlessly retold and spread throughout the world. As a result of time and different cultural variations, the story has taken on countless forms over the years. It's the literary equivalent of playing a game of telephone. Most stories involve a driver picking up a hitchhiker and driving them home. When they arrive, the passenger is gone, and the owner of the house tells them that their child died at the area their ghost was picked up. It's worth seeking out for yourself just to see how creative each individual writer can get. But at its heart, it remains a timeless ghost story. And ghost stories are always welcome around a campfire. I was a very brave kid, so none of these scared me at all. Which is to say, I am still scared of them, and I still check my backseat for murderers when I'm driving alone at night. So, effective. I don't know what to tell you. Which one scared you the most? Let us know in the comments or come tell me on Twitter or Instagram at Rebecca Brayton. Also, be sure to like and subscribe and please watch this other video.